Hi everyone, in today's 1000 plus subscriber special video we will take a brief look at the geography, history and archaeology of the city of Ephesus and its connection with the Bible. The ancient city of Ephesus is located in modern day southwestern Turkey which in the 1st century AD was a part of the Roman province known as Asia or Asia Minor and was situated along the eastern coast of the Aegean Sea in the Caister Valley beside the Caister River. In biblical times the city of Ephesus was connected directly to the Aegean Sea by its famous harbour. However, due to continual silting that was caused by the river, the harbour continued to gradually shrink in size over the centuries, in spite of many different attempts to resolve the issue and even attempts to dredge the harbour. However, these ancient attempts to keep the city connected to the sea ultimately failed, and the once port city of ancient Ephesus is now landlocked about 5 miles or 8 kilometers away from the sea. In ancient times though, its prime location meant that it had easy access to both the Mediterranean sea trade and travel routes, and land access to central Anatolia and beyond through the valley. The New Testament city that Paul visited in the 1st century AD was located in a valley between two small mountains, Mount Korosos to the southwest and Mount Peon to the northeast which divided the city into upper and lower sections. However, before the 1st century AD, the city had been moved at least twice, once by Croesus, king of Lydia in the 6th century BC, and then again to its current location by Lysimachus in the 3rd century BC, where it remained until it was abandoned in the 15th century AD. The modern day Turkish town of Selkuk is located close to the ancient city. The history of Ephesus dates back to at least the 2nd millennium BC when it was originally the site of a royal Hittite city of Apaza, from whence the later name Ephesus seems to have originated, which functioned as a regional Hittite capital of Erzerwa within the empire of the Hittites in western Turkey. According to Strabo's geography, Greek legends declared that the city was founded by the Amazons. By about the 11th century BC, the city fell under the control of Ionian Greek colonizers from Athens. Though a mix of local Anatolians and Greeks appeared to have lived in the now predominantly Greek city. The Greeks believed that the city was founded by a man called Androclus, the son of King Codros of Athens, after an oracle declared that he should go and found a new city. The city continued under Greek control until about 560 BC when the nearby Lydians under King Croesus took control of Ephesus. However, the Lydian control of the city proved to be short-lived as in 546 BC the city fell under control of the Persian Achaemenid Empire when Cyrus, who is also known as Cyrus the Great, defeated Croesus and took control of his kingdom. Persian control of this city then continued until 334 BC when the city fell under the control of Alexander the Great after he defeated the Persian forces in western Anatolia. With the sudden and unexpected death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC in Babylon, much of Anatolia, including Ephesus, eventually fell under the control of one of his generals, Lysimachus, who then renamed the city Arsionia after his wife Arsinoe, though the city name reverted back to Ephesus after his death. Besides moving the city, which he apparently did according to Strabo's geography, by deliberately having the old city's drainage system blocked during a storm, which then flooded the city after its citizens were reluctant to move to the new location. He also surrounded the city with a 5 mile or 8 kilometer long city wall, which is still partially preserved to this day in the surrounding mountains. The city then fell under the control of the Greek Seleucid Empire, which was based in Syria, after Seleucus I defeated Lysimachus in 281 BC. This situation remained so until 188 BC, when the city came under the rule of the pro-Roman Attalid Kingdom, which was centred at Pergamum to the north. The Attalid dynasty ruled the region and city for Rome until 133 BC, when King Attalus III gave his entire kingdom, which included Ephesus, to Rome in his will. 
Ephesus was then later made the Roman capital of the Roman province of Asia, which had previously been located at Pergamum in about 27 BC by the Emperor Augustus, and it was also declared to be a free city, which allowed it to govern itself and forbade the posting of Roman soldiers within it. The city reached its high point in the Roman period. During this time, the city had an estimated population of anywhere between 100,000 or possibly as high as 300,000 people living within it, which made it one of the largest cities in the entire Roman Empire after Rome, Antioch and Alexandria. The importance of the city is evidenced by Roman inscriptions which state that it was the first and greatest metropolis of Asia. The wealth of Ephesus is also demonstrated by the remarkable preserved remains of Roman terrace houses that were uncovered in the city. The importance of the city and its connection with the rest of the world may have been one reason why Paul chose to stay in the place for so long, in fact for over two years during his third missionary journey in the mid first century AD, which stay and what he did during it is found recorded in Acts chapter 19. A significant church was apparently established there, based on the fact that much of the New Testament was either sent to or addressed to people within this particular church, which strongly implies its relative importance amongst the churches in the first century AD. These include the epistles of Ephesians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, and the book of Revelation. Extra-biblical tradition also states that the Apostle John may have lived at Ephesus in the latter part of the 1st century AD, before and after his exile to the nearby island of Patmos. It is also said that he eventually died there and that the remains of a nearby Byzantine basilica church is said to be the place that marked the site of his burial. The city was most famous in the ancient world due to its strong connection with the Greek goddess Artemis, who was named Diana by the Romans. This connection with a goddess and Ephesus appears to date back to the 2nd millennium BC and to an Anatolian goddess known as the Sibyl or Tyche, who was apparently worshipped there. Artemis, who was the daughter of Zeus and twin sister of Apollo, was a virgin goddess and was patron of hunting, wild animals, childbirth and virginity. The goddess was worshipped at a temple known as the Artemisian, just outside the city of Ephesus. A temple began to be built by Croesus in about 550 BC and apparently took 120 years to be completed, though it appears that three earlier and smaller temples had been built on the spot before Croesus' project, which dates to about the 8th century BC and afterwards. Croesus' structure was then, according to the ancient historian Theopompus, burnt down in 356 BC by a man called Herostratus, who thought that by doing this deed, he would be forever famous. Rather than becoming famous, he was instead killed by the angry citizens of Ephesus and would become forever infamous amongst them for his sacrilegious deed, to the point that the people of Ephesus would not speak his name. Greek and Roman tradition also claims that on the night that the temple was burnt down, Alexander the Great was born in Macedon. Alexander apparently offered to help rebuild the destroyed temple, but the Ephesians refused his offer and eventually built an even grander structure, one of the largest Greek temples ever built, which was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The temple was however destroyed in 262 AD by the Goths and was never rebuilt. Little remains of the famous structure today, besides its foundations and parts of its 127 marble columns and bases. The city's strong connection with Artemis or Diana can be clearly seen in the New Testament book of Acts in chapter 19 verses 23 to 42. As during Paul's ministry at the city, a near riot took place after a man named Demetrius, who was a local silversmith, stirred up an angry mob against Paul and his companions because his preaching and ministry had apparently negatively impacted their business of selling small images of the goddess to the people who made pilgrimage to the city and its renowned temple so as to worship the goddess. 
Near the theatre at Ephesus, where two of Paul's companions were taken by the angry mob, a monumental public inscription was discovered that mentions that there was a place of the silversmiths located within the city, which helps to demonstrate the presence of a number of silversmiths and their influence within the city, which helps to confirm the account given in Acts chapter 19 of the importance and influence of the silversmiths within Ephesus. The city was also strongly associated with the worship of the Roman emperors, known as the Imperial Cult, with a temple to the Emperor Augustus being built there in 11 to 13 AD. Later temples to the family of the Flavian dynasty, which consisted of the emperors Vespasian, Titus and Domitian, and the Emperor Hadrian were also constructed there. Ephesus also gained a strong association with the production and use of magic charms and spells, the most famous being called the Athesian Letters, which were believed to give its owner and reader good fortune in many different areas of life, and even the ability to cast out and ward away demons. This production of spells at Ephesus and its importance is evident in Acts chapter 19 verse 19, where many people in Ephesus after becoming Christians, destroyed their costly spells by burning them. The city is also recorded in Acts chapter 9 verse 8 as having a Jewish community and synagogue, which Paul preached in for three months. Josephus several times mentions the presence of Jews within the city, and the special and quite unusual rights that they enjoyed as citizens of Ephesus, which they had received after the time of Alexander the Great and which rites were later confirmed by Rome. Evidence of a Jewish presence at the city can also be seen in a piece of graffito that depicts a Jewish menorah or the seven-branched candlestick that had once been in the temple at Jerusalem on the steps of the 2nd century AD Library of Celsus, which was located in the centre of Ephesus. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.